So recently, I've had a bad creative slump. Every shot felt boring, my commercial work felt repetitive, and I was just not getting inspiration from anything. Lo and behold, I didn't expect to be experiencing imposter syndrome. I never knew the numbers would affect me, and at the same time, I've met so many people who are leagues ahead of me in terms of filmmaking. I felt like everything that I did was just a lower quality version of someone else's work, and it hit like a brick wall. I knew I needed a break from the normal things in life, so I took an impromptu trip to Japan, and I thought it would be relaxing to bring my little Fuji with me on this trip. Sony. That's a building. It's not an eye. Right there. Okay, we're good. I also brought my Sony because I didn't know if I would be shooting a video, but honestly, I was just so uninspired that I didn't even know if the shots were going to be usable. So I figured to change things up and shoot photos exclusively on the Fuji, and here's what happened. Hello. How are you? My name is Victor, and today we are in Tokyo. We are shooting with the Fujifilm X100F, and we're just gonna take it around Tokyo and to see if we can get some banger photos. Is that what people say still? I've captured a lot of photos already in my first two days, and I don't know if I got some really good shots. I think I have a couple, but so far today, we're just gonna keep shooting. I didn't plan any content. I just wanted to shoot with my Fuji. So in this trip, my main goal is to challenge myself with just shooting with this guy photography wise and so far i've been enjoying the trip this is kind of like a solo trip well not really because i'm visiting friends that i've been seeing for quite some time and this was the perfect time everyone's traveling to japan so i was like tokyo sign me up so we're right beside the train tracks and i don't know if the dj mic's gonna pick it up i'm trying to like hide it over here but i'm kind of just trying to stay away from the touristy areas and i just wanted to kind of challenge myself as well to capture the things that i haven't seen online i've seen a lot of japan content and it kind of was just like should i repeat those in my own version or should i do something different it's my third day here and i just need to really kind of just explore more of the city. I've been to Shibuya and Shinjuku. I'm just trying to find new places here that hasn't been shown much or at least like trying to show Tokyo in a different way, in a normal kind of way, not the touristy kind or the Instagram kind. <laughs> So there are three things that I realized during my Tokyo trip. And this camera was the catalyst for me to kind of fall back in love with my craft and to kind of deal with the insecurities and the imposter syndrome that I was going through in the past three months earlier on this year. First is I kind of went into hobby mode again, not necessarily into work mode because when I bring my Sony cameras with me, they are my work cameras. I shoot professionally with them. I shoot content with them to earn money. But with the Fujifilm X100F, it kind of brought me back to my earlier days in photography where I had the Pentax K100. And then my first DSLR was the Canon T2i. And this was kind of like a mix of those two like it feels like a film camera but it's also digital it was very nostalgic for me because yeah i kind of went back into the same feeling it was like i should just capture whatever i can see and instead of trying to capture the best images i am capturing memories i'm not using it for work i'm just using it to kind of look at a thing or a scene and freeze that moment in time Whereas if I'm shooting with my a7 IV, I always have this pressure of having banger shots or like really, really beautiful shots that everyone would consume on the internet. Because I feel like when I'm in work mode, it has to be perfect all the time. Like I'm, I'm at the mercy of the client. Will they approve this? Will, you know, 
things that go through your brain while you're shooting professionally. But with the Fuji film, it was just me being a tourist. It was just me trying to capture what I want to capture. It's very freeing and I don't need to have the pressure of getting really good shots. It's just me having fun with photography. I hope that kind of makes sense because I think when you've been in the industry for quite a long time and you kind of mix in life and work at the same time, especially in my case, I'm a YouTuber, a content creator, and also I want to enjoy traveling and pretty much intertwines with each other, but you kind of just need to draw that line, find that boundary between work and hobby, enjoyment, vacation, and just spending time with whoever you are with during that time. Second thing that I realized is that when you're traveling, you don't necessarily need to have a fast camera, unless obviously you're doing this for work. But in my case, I figured out how to kind of switch things up. There's a day that I'm just in work mode. There's a day where I just take the Fuji, where I just capture whatever I want. And if I miss a shot, it's totally fine. Now, being a minimalist, the core value is the intention of doing something, wanting something. You kind of want to be intentional which memories to capture. And that falls into place that if you do miss a good opportunity, it's not a mistake, but a lesson learned that for next time, I'm just going to capture this specific shot rather than wait for a specific moment. And again, this goes back to kind of the pressure that you self-impose where you just want to get the best shots out of the trip. But in reality, you won't get that. You'll get a bunch of photos and maybe 10% of them are really good. And maybe even sometimes you'll surprise yourself that the really bad photo that you took, that you thought it was bad, end up being really good in post after you edit it. But it's the same with the Fuji film. I didn't expect I was gonna get a lot of shots until I reviewed them, edited them, and I was like, wow, these are actually really cool shots. That might not be a masterpiece, but personally, I really like them. Before we move on, I just want to thank Storyblocks for helping me complete this video with their vast variety of travel footage in their library. If you're traveling, if you don't have a drone or you didn't get a specific shot, you can easily search up any stock footage you might need from Storyblocks' library. And with a Storyblocks subscription, you get full access to the library with unlimited downloads. It's flexible and convenient compared to expensive pay-per-clip pricing models. Storyblocks also have their own plugin for Adobe Creative Cloud, and you can efficiently get the footage you need straight from Premiere Pro or After Effects. Check out their amazing travel footage at storyblocks.com slash Victor Laforteza. Now, the third thing I realized in this trip was comparing yourself with others isn't healthy. And with social media, you, you are really prone to comparing yourself every single day because there's a lot of artists out there that are really good and that are way better than you in every industry. When I was looking at the Japan content prior to my trip, I thought, oh, okay, I'm gonna get the same shots. I'm gonna get like better shots. But when I got there, I was drawing blank. I was not creatively there. And when I realized that I just have to be me, I just have to shoot with the best that I can, and be satisfied with that, that makes photography a lot better. And the catalyst was the Fujifilm X100F. I just wanna end off this video by saying that the camera can be a catalyst to something, no matter if it's an old camera, a new camera, whatever tool you want it to be to be inspired, go get it. Try to compete with your old self and make sure that you're better a year ago than what you are now and go keep filming and keep taking photos. That's what keeps us going. As usual, I'm giving away my Sunset Film Lab Pack and all you have to do to win is comment down below. What are your thoughts about the photos that I took in Tokyo with the Fuji film? Love to know your thoughts. If you wanna check out another video of mine, click on this video right here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. No, I'm not.
what he had 